Did you know that if we do not trust God by faith, and if we're not willing to take steps of faith, we'll never see God's power displayed in and through our life and work? Jesus put it this way in John chapter 7, verse 37 through verse 38. He said, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. And he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow forth rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit. Friends, do you realize that Moses would have never seen the destruction of the land of Egypt and the deliverance of the nation of Israel had he not taken a step of faith and confronted Pharaoh? The same way Joshua would have never seen the power of God part the river Jordan and the walls of Jericho fall and enjoy the fruit of Canaan's land without taking that single step of faith. It was faith that connected young David to the power of God that enabled him to defeat Goliath, that nine foot, six inch, 400 pound Philistine mega man. And friends, it is faith that releases the power of God enabling us to overcome obstacles, defeat the devil, preach the word with power, and serve God with success. In fact, John put it this way in 1 John 5 and verse 4. He said, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Several weeks ago during our e-campaign, we were in a mall. And within that mall, there was a, a large open area, and there are about four to 500 High school principals and school administrators, they had gathered together there for a conference. And one of the men who was with us had been on our campaign already for several weeks, had seen God's power display, decided he was going to take a step of faith. So he walked up to a person who was organizing the conference there for all of these principals and administrators, and he asked the administrator, he asked the person in charge, if he could take 15 minutes and to share with that crowd of some four to 500 administrators the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, the person said, I cannot make this decision. He said, but this is the person you need to ask. And so he went to the other person, asked the same question. Can I take 15 to 20 minutes and share the gospel? They said, well, I'm not the person that can make that decision. And they sent him to a third person. And this person, upon hearing the request, said, you know what? You can do this. He said, by the way, my wife had been saved through Student Movement for Christ International. We we're thankful for that ministry. And our friend, having taken that step of faith, stood up and there in the middle of them all shared the gospel with some four to five hundred ministrators in 15 minutes, shared with him the wonderful saving message of Jesus Christ. But do you realize that he would have never had that opportunity? He would have never seen God display his power and do a wonderful work had he not first taken that single step of faith. And friends, God wants us to be men and women who are living by faith. And may the Spirit of God take the Word of God and bless you with it today.